Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? How are you today? I'm doing pretty good. How many of you have been feeling like you're dying a thousand deaths? Or feeling extremely fatigued? And feeling the intensity as we come up to the solstice here? The solstice event. So some of you are feeling the pressure, you're feeling aches, pains, pokes, you're feeling the turbulence, you're feeling the urgency, you're feeling some very strange sensations indeed, and you're feeling things from the other side of your union, or you're hearing about it, or you're living with someone and you're dealing with the intensity of it. Whatever it is, there are solutions for this. And this event is intended to do some things. My dears, you have no idea what treats you're in for as we get on the other side of some of this. So, that being said, there are things to know. You do have a new body. A lot of you have been feeling it, reading about it, making sure of it, checking, checking ascension symptom lists and things like that. And, you know, getting some things done about it. But you have a new body. Not only is there a template for 5D relationship, and I'm going to explain to you what that means. That means you have a template for having relationships here. And that means relationships to everything. How you relate to food. How you relate to your family. How you relate to work. How you relate to organizations. How you pretty much relate to the rest of the world driven by your 5D connections. Managed by your 5D connections. So that's also something to know. Some things are actually not in your control, but they are being properly managed. Now, there are some things that are incumbent on you living here because your life is going to not only keep getting better, but keep getting in the direction of not only being together, living together, canubulating together, and elevating to levels that you haven't really been to in lifetimes. And some of you may have no memory of it. You've had to rely on other people's descriptions and hopes and, you know, you don't maybe have a personal memory. It's going to come back. It's all going to come back to you. But in the meanwhile, your body wants to get ready. Your life should be getting ready. So I have a message for you. Hurry to get your stuff done. What is this? Well, for some people, it, it addresses your physical part, your body. It could be meaning get some things done that you've needed to do. It could mean get a checkup, get your blood tested, get your blood pressure checked, start that exercise program. Why? I'm going to tell you why. In some ways, this energy is very similar to um, New Year's Eve. Join me as we wind down the clock into 2018. But some of you are winding down all of the stuff that started in 2012 through 2014 and to 2018. Now, this retrograde energy we're in, and mind you, the Pluto retrograde dredges up a lot of stuff about the feminine. And when I say the feminine, I do not just mean females. I mean the feminine side of you, the internal feminine side, the external feminine side, the animal feminine side of the animal realm, and so on. Drudges up a lot of things so that it can be uh, released, and it gets weird. It does get weird. There's a lot being said about the masculine. It's very clicky. Baby, hey, the divine masculine this, the divine masculine that, the divine masculine everything, every which way. And people are starting to scratch their heads and say, okay, but where is it? I'm going to tell you where it or the masculine is. It's inside you. It's always been inside you. Now, 
that's something to know that your heart is like a giant tractor beam. Your heart is what draws you two together. Not words or conversations or you wish it could be simple as going to your person and saying, I'm feeling it's time for us to be together. I'm time, it's time I'm ready. And it's actually not that simple. And you might scratch your head and say, why is love so complicated? The complications come from everything that we've allowed in. It comes from patterns. It comes from all kinds of places in time. Things that have happened, traumas, wounds, etc. Childhoods, families, everything. And you are getting very thoroughly cleared if you're on this journey. Now some people, this is why some people will say, I don't think I want to be on this journey. It's too intense. It's too painful. I have to keep doing stuff. When is so-and-so going to do some things? Well, it's not that they don't, and it's not that they haven't in other lives. And you see, that's the broad scope of this. You may be looking at a few months or a couple of years and an entire scope of your existence that you are clearing things. So how does this affect you? Time to get your stuff done. Do you have debts to consolidate? Do you have a property to sell? Do you have an inheritance to uh, wrap up? Do you have divorce stuff that needs to finish? Do you have custody agreements? Get your stuff done. This is the practical things of life. You want to address financial, family, housing. Um, it could be anything past, present, or future in terms of relationships. You could be purging stuff out. Get your stuff done. Okay, and I know that sounds a bit bossy, but it is going to be triply important. So if you haven't before, one thing that you'll find is that the solstice energy does remove a lot of the fear of things that you may have had to take actions on. You're not sure, you're not sure how well received it'll be, you're not sure who you're going to upset by doing things. There may be a non-issue. That's a part of what this solstice is doing. It is removing timelines where fear has been caused. So as I said in a previous video, we're closing out the gate to the Pallades and several other places like Orion from whence trouble started. So my dears, please get ready and please, please get ready to enjoy. Okay. Where do you feel this sometimes? Some people are feeling a lot of anxiety. They're going to the hospital. You're feeling chest pressure. You can't breathe. You feel like there's a breakdown of some kind. I know about that. I know what to do about it. In fact, I have put something together to help you with that, which is in a link below in the description. Where does this affect you? Well, that's, that's a feeling and an emotion. But where can it affect you? Chest, heart. Your light body connections to the high up and deep inside. So you have connections deep inside. You have those connections with each other. Not with everybody else. You might have had them with everybody else. You might want your twin not to have them with other people for whatever reason. You don't like them. They're overly focused. They're being controlled by people. You just don't want other people to be a part of the equation. So your light body. So again, we're back to talking about the body and the body and the body. You have a body, your twin has a body. Those bodies are supposed to go together. Those bodies are supposed to live together. Those bodies are supposed to twine together. Those bodies have channels that help you keep each other alive. And some of you may know this. What if your twin is doing things that maybe should be over with, that they shouldn't be doing? You're going to feel it. You have felt it up till now. Ah, but my friends, there is something to know about this. How do you get yourself to feeling fine, feeling healthy, based on work you've done and work you're going to do forward so that you're able to maintain no matter what your twin is doing? Aha, now we have something, and that is what I teach. 
how do you always so that the other person isn't teetering you, isn't throwing you off balance, isn't making you feel painful. This is a delicate dance, people. So your twin, unless they really, really teeter, you're going to feel some of it. Straight up, you're going to feel some of it. However, if, on the other hand, you've been doing things and you start to learn how to easily balance yourself, how to easily maintain, because that was actually a very good question someone had in one of my classes. Are we always going to be doing healing? No. You're always supposed to be doing kissing. When are we going to get to the kissing part? Are you always going to be, you know, doing cards to figure out what your twin is thinking or feeling or doing? No. It's a nice tool to have. And it is one of those things along the way. And you can always refer to it. But you're supposed to feel each other. Okay? And feel the good stuff. That's some of the things that I'm referring to as a treat. Are you supposed to get out all of your little kit bag of everything and all of your relationship coping skills to be able to? No. No. It's going to be even easier, but you have to get your body ready. You have to get the light body ready. The body is your gift here. The body is the given. However, getting things open and up and running and getting the structure up so that you're able to. Why? Because you're not living in lower chakras. You're not living in a lower paradigm anymore. You're not living in a lower dimension. You're living from the heart. The heart space is where the heart is. Where the heart is. And above you. So how do you connect those parts? That is what I have. That is what I not only help you with, but teach you and get you back to feeling. Some people are forgetting because they go off on tangents that this is about love. Bring it back to a focus. Love. That's what you're here for. To be in love. And I hear some of you already. You're saying, I already told my twin that. I said we're here to be in love and that's that. You're talking to their ego. Oh yes, my twin is an ego. How do you get past the egoic stuff while it's still dissolving? Because the ego is dissolving away. It'll be that way for people into 2019. How do you do it? There are ways. And in fact, you're the only person in the entire universe who has the connection to your twin. So, you organize your side of life. This is the practical things that I've been talking about. This is going to be all the things you have to organize. Get your kids organized. Get your calendars organized. Get your schedules organized. Get your... Uh, documents organized, get your business organized, get whatever you need to go, get ready, or start taking the steps to. If you've known for some time, the we are in the energy where it's a very delicate thing because you have to move forward on it, start getting your ducks in a row, but don't be so hasty that you make mistakes, okay? Don't make foolish mistakes, don't make hasty mistakes. Don't make those hasty decisions and feel pressured. Right before the solstice, this is decision time, like I keep saying to everyone. And stick to what you know in your heart. If you know you're supposed, even if you're not seeing it yet, stick to what you know you're here for. You know, take one step and keep putting one foot in front of the other. Very plottingly. Very deliberately, each moment of the day. And little by little, it will, it's been paying off for a lot of people. Okay, how do you get your light body, your twin flame body, really deeply connected with your other? Because you have channels. A lot of those channels are intended to operate and reciprocate the love with each other. You're also intended to be not only emotionally supportive of each other, but metaphysically and physically supportive of each other. 
And this is the thing that throws people off, especially about infidelities. Sometimes it's not the sex. It's the emotional infidelity. It's the financial infidelity. It's the mental infidelity. It's the spiritual infidelity. It's not sex. Sex is just the thing that you can think or see about. It's where are they putting their intimacies? Who are they confiding in? Who are they snuggling with? Who, who, who? Okay. And this is painful. It's very painful. How do you get it shifted? How do you shift them out of the lower paradigm? That is what I know how to help you with. And I've been able to help a lot of people shift. So come practice opening your channels. I have a new class coming up. Now, even though I'm talking about the solstice, this lion's gate, this is going to be a doozy. This is the one that a lot of people are going to be like, whoa, I'm getting tumbled about in the washing machine. You don't have to get tumbled about in the washing machine. Come join my class July 9th to August 10th. It is a four-week online class for about 45 minutes each day to learn how to get your channels open. We'll do a little bit of question and answer. We will do Twin Flame live meditation. And I'm going to run this for four weeks for one price. And not only that, you will feel. You will feel. Okay. I want to remind everyone because there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. Okay. And if you were to take a heading and you were to call it, uh, let's just say, because some of you look for this on the internet, you say, well, you know, what is, what am I going to look up here? It's going to be spirituality. Okay. You're looking for spirituality, you're looking for a higher love, you're looking for, and this is what sometimes people will go for. They're saying, I want a higher love. I want someone that touches my spirit. I want that depth where there's a spiritual feeling to the love. And it's not just, you know, here, I want it here. Well, when it comes to twin flames, we're in there somewhere. Okay. We're in there along with other things, okay? Uh, we're in there along with, um, I, I don't even know. Okay, almost like it's a subheading. It's a subheading, right? But what people don't really realize is that the spirit body is only one of your subtle bodies. And it's actually like this. Twin flames. Okay. And then you have spirit. And you have spice. And you have life. And you have activations. And you have health. Okay. So it's actually more like this. You have spirit. You have, you have the feeling of life and being alive. And why? Why? Well, please don't forget the main thing that is overlaying it all. It is love. Love. People, people, I think, are forgetting this. You're getting caught up with the things of the mind. And the things of the mind will say things, you know, like we used to say in the 70s. Hey, what's your sign? What's your sign? I don't know if I'm compatible with you. Or you have a checklist and you say, yeah, I, I got this. I got this. Yeah, there's, that's a pretty good checklist. I'm checking boxes and, you know, therefore... Okay, but what is being lost is the love and feelings, okay? And getting angry. That's an emotion that people are feeling. The anger is coming from somewhere. It's not always frustration. It is coming from your light body where it needs to be out of the chest and out of the heart. Your heart can't hold it. Your chest can't hold it. 
And there's another thing to know. So I have specially prepared things for anxiety relief to help you get clarity and clear the heart, kidney, and adrenal channels. And I also have things having to do with sleeping. How many people are having sleep disturbances? Are you having sleep disturbances? Are you on the thing that I call the shift sleeping, where you're sleeping in three shifts a night? You get up, you can't go back to sleep. You get back to sleep, you get woken up again. You go back to sleep. You feel pummeled and poked. I know what that is. And I not only know what it is, I have guidance and I have ways for you to get your channels open, closed, seal the gate, get to sleep, get a refreshing night's sleep in your new light body. That's trouble sleeping in your light body because it's new, okay? And the light body doesn't like it here at this level. Sleeping. You have a new light body, so use it, okay? Because it is going to be your new best friend besides your twin, okay? So your twin has the connections. You have connections with each other. You've got some of the keys and locks. Your twin has some of the keys and locks. So I'm going to throw a few other things out there. How many of you are feeling doors closed behind you or a sensation of a door closing? or something's being clipped off, or you even feel like you can't feel. You can't feel. You can't, there's sort of this empty feeling. The empty feeling doesn't last, but it does mean something, and it is a part of the process. So if you want some help with that, not only do I do energy sessions, I have another webinar which is pre-recorded. It is called Universally Free to Fly. It is for opening up your wings. Okay? Now you might say, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not sure I have wings. Okay? Some of the ways that you know is if you feel tension around your shoulders. If you feel tension around neck, shoulders, you feel snapping sensations here. Um, you feel like you just can't get adjusted. You're feeling some tension here, here. Or you start to get phlegmy here in the throat. <coughs> and you're just saying, I don't know what's just happening to me. I'm sort of phlegmy, um, but I don't think I'm getting sick. Like something's coming up. It doesn't mean your twin wants to talk to you, although it can. I won't rule that out. Yes, your twin will want to talk to you, but it usually has to do with your uh, ability to expand that area, which I do refer to as your angel wings, okay? And no, you're not crazy because of these sensations you feel. How many of you love being able to get a song from your twin that you hear or feel or it's in your nighttime or it pops up and you want to run to YouTube and go look it up. And because it's a message just for you. How do you think that happens? It travels through the heart. It's only your heart that feels it. You're continually talking to each other and inspiring each other. But if you're going into ancient history again, you're going to find that the door is closing on it. It won't have the glamour. It won't have the glitz. It won't have... Any of the things that might have made it fun at one time. And that, that might upset people because it, it could be almost the equivalent of going to a favorite pub where you, you like the food there and you like the camaraderie and the warm feeling. And you go and it just feels empty to you. Why? Because it's a thing of the past. But don't hang on to the empty feeling. Come and feel the love. Come and learn how to get your channels open, open up, seal the gate, get the love flowing and reciprocating between you. I can't tell you how many times when I've had people that I work with, and even during their session, the twin will reach out to them, or the twin reaches out in the next several days. And I've had a lot of people lately um, getting sick, but their twin is reaching out to them. Getting sick with some things, some of this stuff, anxiety, chest, heart, 
not sure what what does it mean with the heart please go to the doctor to make sure that you have a baseline of health and yes doctors themselves are twin flames so no doctor bashing no man bashing no you know medical bashing the medical community is there for when you need them that's how they're trained okay that's how they're trained and they they truly are trained to help they get just as frustrated when they can't find anything okay when people come in but as an angel you got to know yourself you got to know you're an angel and there are metaphysical things happening so then you come to me i am the metaphysicist i am the person who has the information on the light body and i'm the living bridge to bridge that gap between the physical and the metaphysical and get you up and running again so if you'd like to join i hope to see you there the links are below the links are on my website i have um channel opening to help you with your sacral and your hara this is really good for women women who have had urinary incontinence you've had too many children and maybe your nerves are deadened and you want the love and feelings back down there you want to be able to enjoy your twin okay there is there is uh, something on my website called sacral hara stimulation I have the uh, beyond fear and these are small little bite-sized things for you to do beyond fear to help you with anxiety and get you to a level where you're not dis not only not disturbed by the old fears, but it doesn't trig things don't trigger you in the same way. I have that. I have a, a small sleep series to help you with what to do at night, what to do in the night, and what to do in the morning. Um, I covered that in my multi-dimensional living webinar. I will be covering some of that in my Lionsgate New Moon to New Moon. This is uh, done on a daily basis. If for some reason you can't make the day, I send you the recording, but sign up. It's a great thing where you get four weeks of support for you and your twin, and it is online. It's available to you. Uh, so I timed it sort of in the middle of my day, which on the one end in Europe, that would be your afternoon or evening. And on the other end, it would probably be your early morning just when you're trying to get up. Or if you're on the west coast of the United States or in South America, it will be somewhere within your day. If you can't make it, so it's actually lunch hour in Chicago when I'm doing this. If, you're, if you have a lunch break, take your lunch break and do this. Uh, you will get a lot out of it. If you, if you can't, what I do is I send you the recording, which you can review the next morning, and it will help you throughout the day because it is there to help you with your channels. So thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you there. Thank you to everyone who joined my class over the weekend. Thank you. It was great to have you and laugh and feel and feel the love. One more reminder. This is about being in love. It's about being in love. So come and feel the love. Come and get back to that feeling of when you first felt it. Like, whew, love at first sight. Come on. Get the passion going. You got to get the passion going in time for August. Okay, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. And you will love it, darlings. You will. Okay, bye. Have a good day.